right, guys. So these are the ten things that I like to bring with me any time that I'm going camping or uh, really doing anything outdoors, honestly. Um, so getting right into it. First off, you got to have bug spray. Um, you don't have bug spray, you're going to have a really bad time. Really, barely, really bad time. Ticks, mosquitoes, everything. Try to get something that um, has a high uh, DEET percent percentage. I'm trying to see where this has it listed on here. But Deep Woods is a good brand. They're put out by Johnson & Johnson. Ah, here it is. It's a 25% DEET. That's, that's pretty high. Although I'm sure you can get some that's higher. Um, second thing I bring is I like to bring uh, 100 feet of paracord. This is not 100 feet. This is probably like between 12 and 15 feet, but you get the idea. Um, paracord can be used for anything. You can use it to fish. It's really good for um, just surviving anywhere, honestly. It's really good for holding up a uh, shelter. If you need to, um, you can even get by without you know needing a tent if you have um, some paracord and a tarp. Um, but I'm not including a tent in this list because it sort of assumes you're going to use a tent or some sort of tarp as your shelter. Okay, second, a multi-tool or a um, something you can use to eat with, open cans with, um, a knife of some sort like this. This one has a fork, a spoon, can opener, uh, and a blade with it. Uh, this is just an all-around good tool. It's stainless steel, so it's durable. Um, and it'll last a while and it can be used to cut rope, anything. Um, if you know what you're doing, you skin a fish with it. Okay, moving on, we have um, this MSR uh, pocket rocket. Now, what I love about this so much, let me see if I can open it. Is that it's just so tiny so tiny I've used this a few times and both the fuel which I have right here um, and the actual uh, engine I suppose you'd call it uh, or stove is extremely small it's extremely lightweight and that's why I think it's so great for uh, camping um, I took this on a, on a camping trip once and I mean it boils water within you know less than a minute so um, yeah that's a pretty good thing to have, uh, especially if you are in a place where you need to boil your water before drinking it. Uh, that's definitely essential. Next, I'd say a mess kit, a pot, a pan. Um, this would be good for uh, purifying water or what have you. Um, I do suggest bringing like the full kit just to have it with you because it's extremely lightweight. It's made of aluminum. Um, you can put it over a fire. You can really do anything with it. Um, and, of course, you need matches. You need matches or some sort of fire starter. Uh, some people prefer a, uh, a, like a flint and steel fire starter because it, it can be used more than, you know, 250 times. As this, is, this has 250 matches in it. Um, but just to save time, I mean, I go with matches or, or lighter. I mean, I doubt you're going to use a full 250 if you're out there. If you need to, just consider fire. All right, next is probably the most important uh, asset in this entire uh, list, and that is a quality uh, flashlight. Uh, this one is rechargeable, although I would suggest buying one that um, takes batteries that you can replace because you don't you won't have access to electricity out in the outdoors uh, typically unless you're doing non-primitive camping. Um, but this has um, different different modes, different settings on it. Um, I suggest getting one that has an SOS uh, three blink feature um, just in case anything happens. I mean you have that option. Um, definitely make sure it's high lumen, high output. Um, but not something that's going to, you know, just drain batteries. You want something that's long-lasting. Um, but if you can't see, you can't work. If you can't work, you can't survive. So light is definitely probably the most important thing on this on this list, if anything. Next, um, this one's more of a comfort item, but it can be used. Um, 
use for many different purposes. This is a blow up um, cushion, a uh, blow up pillow, and honestly, it just makes camping so much easier. I mean, if you're not, if you're trying to do like minimal camping, like not even a sleeping bag, um, like lie out on the stars, this is this is the way to go. I mean, at least you have something. Um, something that's comforting you that doesn't take up any space and is extremely lightweight so I definitely recommend getting uh, getting one of these you can probably pick one of these up for like two or three dollars and uh, if worse comes to worse you can um, you can cut it open use it as you even use it as something to store water in or hold water in you could do a, a ton of things with this um, with this rubber bladder or latex bladder and last but not least, of course, I have a first aid kit. Now, I don't recommend getting one this size. This one is pretty hefty. Uh, if you're going um, like minimalist backpacking, this has a lot of gear for uh, for treating trauma, um, which you shouldn't you shouldn't need a lot of this stuff. Um, the only things you should need if you're going camping, like short term, would be I would say. Um, burn cream, um, anti-itch, um, anything that would uh, help with poison ivy, um, band-aids, anything that would help with cuts, um, you get what I'm saying. Um, you're, I, you're not going out in the woods to get shot. So, I mean, a lot of this trauma stuff is um, sort of over the top, although very useful. So... But that's my that's my top ten items that I like to bring uh, while camping. Again, it doesn't include um, like a tent or anything, but I I'll leave that to your own discretion. Thanks, guys.